if I being honest, I'm bursting with pride with the numbers that are here. Um, from signing books for the last hour, two hours, there's people here from Clarny, there's people here from different parts of the country, there's books going to New York, there's books going to San Francisco. So I'm actually amazed and blown away by the turnout. Um, never in my wildest dreams did I think anything like this would happen. Um, so thank you very much. Um, look, it's been an honour and privilege for me to, to write a book. Never, never did a, a small red hair boy from Archer Navuli. That's how we pronounce it. <laughs> never in my wildest dreams growing up as a seven or eight year old in Archer Navuli with a ball, filthy, dirty, running around the estate. Mike Buckley clicked me in a bus to go up to Croke Shining on Saturday morning. Did I ever think I'd have some success like this? It's, it's been absolutely amazing. But I've been very, very fortunate during my career. I suppose when you come into a club like Dr. Crokes, you've got, you've got the setup, you've got the players, you've got the family. They nurture you, they mind you, they challenge you. Things become very, very easy. And then as you progress that through that, and you come along a crop of players that are probably one of the greatest club, club teams that have gone over to Kerry, then you're a very, very lucky boy, and I feel very, very fortunate. And that culmination last St. Patrick's Day in Crow Park will live long in the dream, certainly for all of us. So I'm so delighted that so many of those teammates are in the room, lads. So thank you very much for coming. What can I say about the days of Kerry? The, the, the Northeast have been unbelievable to carry. I came into in 2002 as an 18-year-old, 10 stone, it's in the book, you read it, guys. <laughs> a 10, a 10, stone, a 10 year old or a 10 stone boy now would not be low playing Crow Park, it's a, But I came into the team of Darrow Shea, Seamus Moynihan, Liam Hassett, Darrow Canada. And I, I remember going into the Fisher, Fisher Stadium to my first training session. And it was the old restrooms back then and used to go in. And the first person I met on the gate was Paul O'Shea. And the first thing he says, horror. <laughs> go in there and throw on your boots. And I was shaking like a leaf. And then the next people I meet going in are Liam Hassett, Mike McCarthy, um, Tomas across the way from me. And I was pinching myself to say, is this really happening for me? So that was the start of my Kerry career. And almost from the first day, when, when Tomas O'Shea passed me ball against Leash in a, in a Division Two league final, it just kick-started from there. I suppose none of us thought we'd have the success to go on and play in six All-Ireland finals in a row, ten in all, five All-Irelands, league titles. But you know what, sometimes the medals are really, really important, but they might be the most important thing. The greatest thing I've got from, from, from the GA and from Kerry and from Dr. Crokes and the friendships and the camaraderie that goes with it. Um, in, 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 in the book you'll see there's trips away, there's holidays. Some, are, some of the holiday stories had to be a little bit censored um, <laughs> because uh, I think maybe some marriages might be broken up and things like that, but we won't put it tonight. Um, but, but look, it's been an amazing journey for me with Kerry. It's, it's been to go through four managers, Pat O'Shea, Jack O'Connor, Amethyst Morris, and of course, Paulie, 